painted this door with weathered wood. It's DIY paint. And uh, I go ahead and I'm painting a second coat of the weathered wood. Once your first coat is on there, you have to be careful not to go over it too often because you can just peel the paint right back up again and make it fold back and your base color will come back through again. I'm going over the whole frame of this with the weathered wood because I want the outside to be nice and dark. This is a fall decorating exterior door that's going to sit outside my door on my patio and I want it to look nice and fall. I love the color of weathered wood. So now that I have that frame all painted in, now I'm going to take my mister bottle and mist inside here and a little weathered wood. What that's going to do is it's going to make that weathered wood just a little bit thinner and nice and blendable. Okay, weathered wood going on. What you wanna do is you wanna do the whole panel at one time. See right here, I'm brushing it too much and I'm brushing that base color back up again. Now I'm going to dip into tarnished pearl. I have a little tarnished pearl on here. I'm gonna give it a little mist and go right in here. Blend in that panel to bring out that detail. Now our base color is hidden. We disguised it. I'm also going in with a little faded burlap for a little bit of a brown, tannish look. That tarnished pearl color is nice and white. This a little on the tan side. I did not switch brushes, so I have a little bit of that color going off the edges. And I'd like it a little bit lighter yet. So I'm going in with some more tarnished pearl. I'm gonna go over on this side and bring that tarnished pearl out a little bit more. I want this door to not only be out here for fall, but I also want it to be out here for the winter months for Christmas. So I don't want to put anything on this door that's gonna cause me to not be able to use it for the winter months or for the Christmas season. So that's why I'm keeping it very neutral. Fall is a nice time for these browns. Winter is a nice time for that lighter brown that tarnished pearl color. It's okay if you see your brush strokes, they kind of add to the character of the paint. What you want is you want it to look like it had been painted a while ago. Somebody sloppily painted it, like me. I'm gonna add some more tarnished pearl to this piece. So I go in with the same brush and you can see when I'm blending it, I'm going in an upward stroke. So I put it across the bottom and blend it up. I went outside the raised panel, that's fine. Just go over with your weathered wood and blend that to be a little bit darker than the inset panel. So you can keep adding weathered wood to your brush and just keep blending it. I'm going to do the same thing on this side with the tarnished pearl. Right here I had a little bit of tarnished pearl left on my brush. Just blend it in. There's a couple spots I want to do some nice blending. I'm going to explain how I do the blending. This is weathered wood with a little bit of tarnished pearl and a little bit of faded burlap. I'm gonna go in with some weathered wood. I'm still using the exact same brush. And 
then I'm putting a little bit of weathered wood on the door. And then I'm gonna mist it. I'm gonna go over those edges and blend, wiping them, barely touching it with the bristles of my brush until I blend that in. I don't want it to have too much of a contrast. I want it to have more of a blended look. So right here, you can see that that's a very harsh contrast between the two. There's globs of paint there. There's two obviously different colors. I like that in that inside of the panel. I don't want that out here. So that's why I'm trying to blend that in a little bit more. Here's another spot. I'm gonna give it a little squirt and I'm gonna go over it with my brush, just blending out some of those brush strokes. My brush is barely touching the surface. You can tell when it gets a little dry. We're out here in the wind, so it's drying a little bit quicker, but it'll pull versus glide over nicely. Here's another couple spots that I want to blend a little bit more. It's starting to dry. I can see that I don't like that, so I'm going to go back in with my brush. This is the Smooth Talker, and I really kind of like this brush. It holds a lot of paint. And you can find this on my website at thepaintophotographer.com. So I'm gonna go in with my mister bottle and mist that area. My brush has a little bit of weathered wood on it. I'm gonna put just a little bit more on it and give it a bigger mist. I wanna smooth that edge out there There, much better. In the middle there, we're gonna smooth, it's already there. We're just gonna take what's there, activate it, reactivate it with the water, and smooth it out. The DIY paint lets you reactivate it with the water, so it works really good to smooth those areas out. I found a little friend while we were recording this video. He's pretty tiny. Isn't he cute? We're gonna seal it. We're gonna use the DIY blender brush and DIY's big top. This is not meant for exterior coverage. However, I'm gonna take this in or I'm gonna repaint it soon anyway, so it doesn't bother me. So if you want something to stay outside and make sure it has good exterior coverage, make sure you use an exterior sealer. But in my case, we're gonna use Big Top because I like it. it. Brightens those colors right up. Here I did a little time lapse of me decorating the patio for fall. If you would like any of these DIY products, please visit my website at thepaintedphotographer.com and I can ship them right to your front door. Thank you for watching and I hope you subscribe and like my page.